Hey guys, it's Jeremy from How To Hockey with The Hockey Movement, and in this video, I'm doing a review of Hockey Shots, brand new targets, just came out with these ones. I have been shooting them for a while, and I'm pretty happy that they came out with targets like this for a few reasons. Number one, it has been scientifically proven that hockey players that shoot with targets in the net will increase their accuracy faster and have better accuracy than hockey players that do the exact same thing without a target in the net. Uh, the reason why is because with a target, you're training yourself with every single shot to look at a target, pick it, and then try to hit it. And by having various targets in different spots around the net, you're training your body to pick different spots and hit them with consistency. So you're creating better shooting habits. So it's definitely to your advantage to have targets in your net. Second reason that I'm excited for these targets is because there are other targets in the market, but each one has sort of a downfall. These ones are pretty much the easiest to use, and I'll show you what I mean later in the video. Before I get into the comparison, let's take a look at the targets and see what you actually get. So it's a pretty simple design. It's a long bungee cord, a nice durable one. It's not like a really thin, flimsy one, and it has these nice metal hooks on the end. So these hooks will hook into the wiggly wire on the back of the post, and it fits into any regulation goal, which is 72 inches or six feet wide. Uh, I think it probably could fit into a smaller net. You just have to find a way to wrap the bungee cord around the post and hang it up. For the targets, you get three nylon flags and these are movable so they can slide up and down the bungee cord. And with the bungee cord, you can put it anywhere you want in the net and then you can slide the flags anywhere you want in the net. So you're not just limited to the four corners like you are with most targets. You can really select exactly where you want to aim and really target in on that area. So I like that idea about these targets. Uh, as for the flags themselves, I think they're nylon material. Uh, nice and durable, it's they're, like tough. You know, you're not gonna rip or tear these with shots uh, as you would with some other targets. And I mean, they're not gonna break. It's, it's gonna be pretty tough to wear through these things, in my opinion anyways. So they look like good quality material, nice and durable, gonna last you a long time. Uh, you can put them pretty much anywhere you want in the net and really easy to use. So let's put these targets in the net, take a few shots and see how they hold up. And I'll do that product comparison, compare these to some other targets. All right, let's talk about targets. Now, I've used a lot of different styles of targets and it seems like with every single one, I either break them or there's some feature that I don't really like and end up taking the target out of the net. And I think that these hockey shot ones, it addresses all of those issues. So I do recommend them already, but I'll tell you why. So number one, there's that big tarp that goes in the net. It takes up the whole thing. You got the uh, corners to shoot, the five hole, and the big goalie on it. You probably know what I'm talking about. The thing I don't like about that is it doesn't give you these inner posts, which I usually shoot for in a game. I go uh, low blocker, low glove. I really like those spots to shoot. It doesn't give those as an option to shoot for target practice. Number two is that it gets annoying to get the pucks out of it, which seems like you know a minor complaint, but if you shoot a lot of pucks, you gotta lift the thing up, scoop them all out. It just slows down your training. Uh, second type of target, which are really popular, are these rope ones that I have in right now. Uh, you can only shoot the corners. There's no five hole. Uh, second problem with them is that they kind of come loose, so how the hooks go in, you can see this one on the bottom. That happens pretty often, and then you don't bother shooting for the low corners anymore. And the third one, uh, these ones I break. You keep on shooting for the top corner, it wears through, and it rips away, and then you end up with, you know, junk. So these ones are cheap, they're only 20 bucks, but you'll probably break them and there's a few problems. Also, this little rope that goes along the bottom, it makes it harder to get the pucks out because it keeps on catching them. Uh, so those are kind of the problems. Now with the hockey shot targets, I like these bungee cord, right? Uh, so you can put them anywhere in the net at any height and you have these flags so you can realign them to put them anywhere in the net. And it's gonna be easy to get the pucks out afterwards because they're not really in the way. It doesn't take up the whole net, uh, just the spot where you're gonna shoot. So that's why I like the hockey shot targets, definitely recommend them. If you want to pick these targets up, I have a link down there in the video description. Uh, the price depends on if you're in Canada or the States, and also they might have a sale. So if you want to pick them up, just click that link. I do have a coupon code down there as well. You can save $10 on any order over $100. If you're working on your shot, definitely recommend the target and the radar gun. Really good motivation to keep on shooting. Um, 
That's it. Thanks a lot for watching the video. And if you want more videos to improve your skills, check out my website. It's How To Hockey. And you can subscribe to this channel. We do new hockey videos every single week. Thanks a lot for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.